welcome back to Story Time with Karen, <laughs> your fun corner of the internet where we use our magical powers to bring amazing stories to life. And boy, do I have a treat for you today. Can you guess where I am? Let me give you some clues. Clue number one. I had to shrink down really small to get here. Clue number two. This place is part of the human body. Clue number three. There are lots of little hairs all over, but it's not the head. Have you guessed where we are? We are in a nose! <laughs> we are here today to visit my good friends, the Snozzerolls! Karen, you are here just in time. There has been loud music playing all morning. It's hurting our ears. Can you help us find out where it's coming from? Sure, I would love to help. Hey, can my friends come too? Of course! We would love for them to come. Ah, uh, there's just one problem. They're too big to fit in here. If only there was a way to make them smaller. Oh, that's easy. My friends and I have magical powers. So shrinking down isn't a problem at all. Hey friends, let's use our magical powers and become really small so we can help the Snozzerolls find out where that music is coming from. Clap your hands. Now clap louder. Clap faster. That's it, you're doing great. All right, everyone, hold on to your imaginations. Here we go! Where is that dreadful noise coming from? Screeched Great Great Grandad McHooter. It's much too loud. It is hurting my ears. Snozzerolina, ballerina! Go and find out and take Snozzerella Bellaboo and Snozzy McHooter Jr. with you. We will have to climb through the cilia hairs in the nose. It's much too dangerous. We need to get to the sinus cavities. <gasps> Let's stop here and have some fun on the trampolines. They're very pink and squishy squashy. <laughs> this is so much fun. But it's much too bouncy. Ugh, we feel sick, said all the Snozzerol children holding their tummies. Oh, poor Snozzerolls. Not much fun. We all need to lie down now. We will have to wait for a yawn or a swallow before we can slide down the Eustachian tube to find out where that dreadful noise is coming from. Be careful, shout 
wanted Uncle McHooter Tooter. Don't go past the tonsils! It's much too dangerous down there. And it's forbidden! We have waited ages for a yawn. <sighs> now we are all much too tired. Quick, Snoddy McHooter Jr. and Snozzarella Bellaboo, now's our chance. Climb up the tonsils and into the opening in the Eustachian tube. What an awfully long, bumpy slide! It's much too slippery. And it's getting noisier. And noisier. We must be close. Bang! We have hit the eardrum. And huge earwax rocks come tumbling down towards them. Yeah. It's much too rocky. My feet hurt, said Snoddy McHooter Jr. What's happening, Snoddy McHooter Jr.? Where's all the water coming from? Snodrelina Ballerina, please make her stop crying. Shall we get the umbrellas out? It's much too wet. We should have put our wellies on, <laughs> said the Snozzerolls. Snozzerella Bella Boo! Shout to Snozzer Dada and ask him what we should do. Snozzer Dada says the water from the crying will dissolve the earwax rocks. Then you will be able to get through the eardrum to the outer ear. Whew, the noise has suddenly stopped. She must have taken off the headphones. Whoa! Look! It's amazing! We've made it to the outer ear! It's much too exciting! Squealed the Snozzerals. What's happening? I can't see, said Snozzy McHooter Jr. She's putting messy stuff all over her face again. I think it's called a face mask. Yuck! It's much too messy. Can you eat it? Asked Snozzy McHooter Jr. Let's get back home. It will be a long trek getting back up the Eustachian tube. There must be a quicker way. That will be much too tough. Plus, I am exhausted, said Snozzarella Bellaboo. Let's climb out of the ear canal and then squish down the earrings. Sounds great! Let's do it! It's much too too treacherous. But I know we can do it, said Snozrelina Ballerina. <coughs> oh look, she sneezed. Now's our chance. Quick, Snoddy McHooter Jr. and Snozzarella Bellaboo, jump onto the tissue. We can climb back in through the nose. <laughs> it's much too easy, laughed the Snozzerals with a huge sigh of relief. We are back, great, great, granddad McHooter. But not 
voice was coming from the headphones. It has stopped now. Aye, it's much too quiet now, said a very grateful great great Grandad McHooter. Where's Snoza Mama? Let's go and find her. Who's coming? Let's climb up through the back of the nose and up into the eyeball room. I bet Snoza Mama is having a snozzle in her hammock. Snoza Mama is far too lazy, <laughs> giggled the Snoza Roll girls. Snoza Mama, where are you? <sighs> oh, I'm far too tired. Just let me have five more minutes sleep. Groaned a very tired Snoza Mama. Whoa! The view from up here is truly awesome! You can see everything from here. Snoza Mama, we are back! Please, can we have our tea? We are hungry! Hmm. It's much too noisy now. <laughs> Everyone, stand by your hammocks. It's time for bed. The Snozzerals absolutely love their home and their sleeping quarters in the eyeball room. Which is just inside the face of a human being. <sighs> We're all much too sleepy now. Good night. Well done, friends. We found out where that loud music was coming from! Great job, everyone! Yes, thank you so much for helping the Snozzer all children, boys and girls! You are all much too clever! And we got to show you some of our favourite places along the way, like... The Eustachian Chip Slide and the Pink Squishy Squashy Trampolines and the amazing view from the outer ear. How cool was that? What was your favourite place, Karen? Mm, that's difficult. There are so many fun places to explore in your home. It's hard to choose just one. Hmm. I think because I love rock climbing so much, my favorite place was next to the eardrum where all the earwax rocks are. Where was your favourite place, friends? Until next time, friends, don't forget! Some of the most amazing places to explore and learn about could be a lot closer than you think. See you soon! <laughs>